Hey everyone, welcome back to part 2 video of grade 5 chapter 1 lesson 4. Okay, uh, this is page number 32. We finished till page 31 in part 1 video. Now we are starting page 32. Uh, question number 10, a runner decreased his time by 5 or 100 seconds, express, uh, you guys know, 5 will come uh, at the 100th place, let me write it again for you guys, that place values, here it is, the first one, once, and then we have decimal point here, okay, between once and with DHS then hundred and then we have thousands DHS what it does? Okay. So 5 will come at the place of 100, 5 here, and this one 0 and 0, so 0 0.05. Next question, uh, 7 over 10, you have to write it in decimal, let me add in word form also, again, 7 will come at the place of 10, 7. So, 0 0.7 or you can say 7 tenths, 7 tenths. Okay, let me erase the numbers first and then we'll move down towards the next questions. Here again, they give you some customer units and they want you to write these fractions in decimal here. 62 over 100, 0 0.62, 4 over 100, 0 0.04. Why 0, 4? Because 4 will come at the 100th place, here. So we write 0 here and here, 0 0.04. 35 over 1000, similarly 0 0.035. 5 will come at the 1000th place, 3 at the 100, and 0 and 0. Okay, and 0 0.908. I have a question here for you guys. Uh, they did a mistake here. You have to correct it. So Dylan wrote 950 over 1000. 95 over 1000 is equal to 0 0.950. No guys, it's 950 over 1000 like this one. 95 over 1000, this 5 will come at the 1000th place here. And then 9 will come at the 100th place and then we'll fill this one with zero so it will be 0 0.095 0 0.095 okay let me erase this and move to the next question do we have next question yes we have how can the word form of a fraction help you write the fraction as a decimal guys don't write this sample answer start from here the word form tens hundreds thousands helps you determine how many digits to place to the right of the decimal point how many digits this word form determine how many digits to place to the right of the decimal points Got it guys? If it is tens, so we will write only one digit. If it is hundreds, so we will write two digits, tens and hundreds. If it is thousand, we will write three digits, tens, hundreds and thousand. I hope you understand and uh, don't forget to finish your homework, page number 33 and 34. Thank you so much guys, have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Thank you so much, have a nice day.